Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Curtis. I wanted to share a book with you today called Thelma the Unicorn. Thelma felt a little sad. In fact, she felt forlorn. You see, she wished with all her heart to be a unicorn. Her best friend's name was Otis. He liked her quite a lot. He said, you're perfect as you are. But Thelma said, I'm not. And that was when she saw it, a carrot on the ground. It gave such a great idea, she squealed and jumped around. She took that simple carrot and she tied it to her nose. I'll say that I'm a unicorn. It might just work, who knows? Well, as she did, a truck drove by. The driver rubbed his eyes. Good grief, is that a unicorn? He shrieked in great surprise. As Thelma watched the swerving truck, it very nearly hit her. Would you believe that truck was filled with nice pink paint and glitter? Oh, Thelma looked amazing. She was a unicorn. I'm special now, she cried out loud, and so a star was born. All across the whole wide world, her fans would cheer her name. Thelma loved it every bit. The fame, the fame, the fame. Thelma was a superstar. Her dreams had all come true. But soon she found that so much fame was kind of tricky too. You see, her fans were mad at her. They'd scream and cry and laugh. They'd chase her everywhere she went to get an autograph. In fact, they'd chase her all day long it never, ever stopped. They chased her while she exercised. They chased her while she shopped. Please don't chase me anymore, she asked the screaming crowd. We'll chase you all we want, they said. We're fans, so we're allowed. And some were not her friend, fans at all. No, some were really mean. And some just did the meanest thing she'd ever really seen. Oh, look at their signs. I don't like unicorns. I agree. So one dark night, she felt quite sad. This famous little pony. She thought, said, I thought that I'd feel great, but all I feel is lonely. I think she's starting to miss her friend. And so with that, she changed her mind, this lonely unicorn. She cleaned off all her sparkles and she ditched her magic horn. And then she walked white past the crowd. They didn't even notice. She thought how nice it would be to see her lovely Otis. Oh, she's back with her friend now. And when he asked her about her trip beneath their favorite tree, she simply said, Oh, it was fun, but I'd rather just be me. So sometimes we hope for things, but once we actually get them, they don't seem as great, okay? So I think she found comfort in getting back home and with her special friend. Hope you enjoyed, boys and girls. Have a wonderful week.